Yeah, okay. So I've asked this great question, which is a really good question, uh, which a lot of people face with, uh, who try and do the Course in Miracles. What if I do several days of a Course in Miracles and say I get up to lesson 40 and then I miss a day or I miss a few days? Um, should I uh, start from the beginning? Should I start from the last place I left off? Well, my thing, you know, uh, my Course in Miracles teacher, Dr. David R. Hawkins, you know, I really uh, like him. I and mean, one of the things he said, which I totally agree with, is that you could say that every lesson contains within it everything you need um, to reach enlightenment, even though the Course does want you to tackle the ego, shall we say, from many different angles to dissolve the ego so that you can be in the holy instant, in the eternal presence. So, so you could say, don't worry. I mean, I would say don't worry too much. I think the best, I'd agree with Hawkins, the best intention is just to do one lesson a day. It doesn't have to be perfect, even if it's just reading the lesson and then you can't do the practice and just try and do, or if you do anything of a lesson, in a day, even if you just read it or read a few lines, I would say the next day, pick up the next lesson. Um, if you, let's say you, you, you're you aiming to do the Course of Miracles and you get say 40 days done and then you miss a day or you miss a few weeks, personally my view would be just, just take up, you know, if you got to lesson 40 and you miss a few days or miss a day, then carry on on lesson 41. Uh, why do I say that? Well, having done the Course in Miracles, year after year after year, I think for over a decade, every year, it's like you're not gonna miss anything because you're gonna come back to these lessons over and over again. And uh, I remember the very first times I did The Course in Miracles, um, it seemed like I hardly understood anything, but I, I accepted my teacher, just do the best I can and move on to the next lesson. And I did find that as I did that, you know, everything that I didn't understand in early lessons became very, very clear. I didn't have to stay on the same lesson, you know, until I thought I got it perfectly. I think that is a, um, that is a trap. I think it's a trap that students get is they wanna do a lesson perfectly and then uh, give up and then stop and then miss a few days and then they're not, don't wanna come back. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll get it in the end. You may even get this lesson by doing tomorrow's lesson. So don't worry, don't worry about doing perfectly, just carry on. And if you miss it, I would have the attitude like, okay, I missed a few days. I was on lesson 40. I'm going to start off from 41 and I'm just going to carry on. And it's like the Holy Spirit can speak and communicate with me through whatever lesson I'm doing. I often found with some of the lessons when I was doing them, there was huge ego resistance. Like I didn't understand what he was talking about or why I was doing the practice. But often I would do it like I could, I could, I might be doing all my thoughts are meaningless. All my, I'm not sure why I'm saying that. All my thoughts. You know, and, uh, and then at the end of the day, it's like I've cleared my ego of blocks. And then so it was like the Holy Spirit would just pop in. Hey, this is what this lesson meant. Or sometimes I wouldn't get it that day, but I'd get it a few days later. Okay, so that's just my view on it. I hope that was helpful. I'm going to...